guys, it's Sunday and I promised another review. This one goes out to a user called Devastator RJ. He wanted me to review the Jurassic Park Series 1 Command Compound and Evil Raider figures. I do have the Command Compound and a review for that will be coming very soon, but I've been meaning to review the Evil Raiders for some time, so this video is for the Evil Raiders. Let's get this going. I'm going to start it off with Skinner first, and I'll do Dr. Snare last. So, from the Series 2 line, the adventure continues. Uh, these were two human figures added into the Series 2 Jurassic Park line from 1994. And they're supposed to basically be uh, hunters or poachers, evil raiders, the bad guys. So, I really thought it was cool that, other than worrying about dinosaurs eating you, you had these two villain characters, villain human characters, to be thrown into the mix with. And here's Skinner just looking like a mean old poacher jacked up on steroids guy that you don't want to mess with. Really awesome figure. He's got a gun on his side that you can't take out. I think that just says Amblin. Trademark, UCS and Amblin. Blah, blah, blah. He's got some nice boots really like this figure and even a skull there so this guy looks like he's had a run with either some other dinosaurs or animals and uh because he's got these uh some stitches or these scars like a bite mark almost on his head <laughs> don't know what happened there but that was really cool about these two evil raider figures they both had dino damage i mean human dino damage uh, i don't really know how to word that <laughs> But they were the only two human Kenner figures, and out of any of the other Jurassic Park toy lines, the only humans to have dino damage, so kudos to that. That was really cool. Skinner's got this arm, I think this is a bandage, a ghetto bandage or something. Shoulder thing that just slides off, revealing a nasty bite, or scars from previous attacks that this guy had. Really awesome. Completely pointless and weird, but I love it. It's like, oh, he's got these scars on his arm and his head. This guy just looks like a badass. You don't like a badass biker guy. You don't want to be messing with. That hunts down dinosaurs. That just slides back on very easily. So, really awesome. That's him. He also comes with this Baryonyx hatchling. We haven't even seen a Baryonyx figure, or we did for the series two line, but it wasn't blue like this. So strange. That this figure would eventually grow up to be the electronic snapjaw baryonyx. But either way, uh, it's a nice little addition to the Skinner, this baryonyx hatchling. I mean, it's nothing crazy as you guys can imagine. It's got the JP logo and not really much posability, but a considerable amount of detail considering how small of a piece this is. Uh, I always love the hatchlings. But then he also comes with this huge ammo box to carry all of his gear and stuff in. Opens up out of that really easily. And then let's see what we have inside. There's a little ammo box. Really uh, strange and unusual for a Jurassic Park figure, at least anyway, to have a... Uh, he's got this knife. A really strange or uh, medieval looking dagger. It's like a knife, but it's not a knife. It's like the bottom jaw of some animal. But to be used as a weapon, as you can kind of see. So a really awkward, not, excuse me, not awkward, but a really uh, nasty looking knife for this hunter, this evil guy to be using. Uh, this this weapon fits in perfectly, this knife. He can hold it, do whatever, slash all the figures. He also comes with this trank gun or sniper rifle, uh, whichever you want it to be. I guess you can pretend, I mean, it's got this clip and a pretty beastly sized barrel at the end of this weapon. And looks to be a scope on it. But... Uh, it's, as you'd expect, there's not really much for it. So you put these two pieces together. Really cool that this gun comes in two separate pieces like that. And then you have his uh, rifle gun that he can hold and shoot stuff with. Pretty cool gun. I like it. And it assembles easily, so when he's not using it, it can be put back in his ammo box crate thing, or whatever you want to call this box here, storage crate. And good to go he can carry it around move it to the campsites and yeah 
a really this reminds me of like someone from a GI Joe figure, but it's cool. And yeah, that's Skinner. So let's move on to Snare. All right, so time to move on to Doctor Snare now. Uh, Skinner's hunting and poaching buddy. The other only other evil raider figure that was released for series two and the best part about dr snare is he comes with this hatchling of the demon carnotaurus pretty considerable amount of detail just like uh the skinner hatchling on this carno it's got a lot of little bumps i mean for a hatchling the fact that kenner went into some of the detail they did on this is pretty astonishing this is a really nice hatchling and probably maybe one of my favorite hatchlings from the series 2 line. It's the Demon Carno. Oh my god, the Demon Carno hatchling so cute. Did it go to ah! <laughs> So yeah, that's the Demon Carnotaurus hatchling that comes with this. Looks very much like the adult Demon Carnotaurus figure, so really nice hatchling to have to go with that if you have uh, the Demon Carno. But here's Dr. Snare, Skinner's evil hunting buddy. Skinner's evil hunting buddy, this guy looks just like another mean, evil character. Uh, his weapon, just like uh, Skinner, he has this sniper rifle, trank gun, uh, whichever you want it to be. I'm guessing it's a hunting rifle, though, because these were the bad guys. And they probably weren't going to tranquilize any of these dinosaurs but on his sniper rifle here he's got this blade that comes off almost like the Skinner figure he's got like this knife slash blade thing he can hold do whatever with if you wish uh, really cool little addition and I kind of like how it just sits here on the side of the sniper rifle like so and then just goes in a little bit and it just sits right there I, I like his gun. It's a cool gun. Uh, it doesn't shoot anything, so all imagination here, but it's cool. A nice welcome accessory for this guy to have. He's got some bullets wrapped around his chest, and then he's got some more uh, on his knee, and then his snake skin or dinosaur skin boots. <laughs> really nice. He's got this trench coat, or this uh, cape, whichever you want to call it. Uh, he's got, like, this coat, and it's made out of this rubber material. And really cool that Kenner went in, putting the buttons up the entire side, even a coat pocket. And, and they even went into the detail to color in this snare, or this rope that's on the back of his cape. But, just like Skinner, he has a dino damage feature. The back part of his thing comes off right here, of his jacket, or thing uh, this rips off or comes off whichever you want to call it I'm gonna say it rips off because I'm guessing something attacks him for this to happen oh god it's so violent this guy looks like he got it worse than Skinner on his back right here just look at those claw marks just imagine some blood there and yeah hell it even comes through a little bit on the front of his chest right there you can see so he got it really bad almost Sorry, but alright. So yeah, that's his dino damage. I really like how the human figures, they started to put dino damage on the human figures. Interesting, and these were the only two f human figures that had that, so you gotta give some credit there. Dr. Snare also comes with this uh, accessory tag. Uh, I don't even know where this is used on the figure or how it's used. But it comes with like, this little accessory tag that looks like it could probably go on one of these hatchling figures. Being that that's really tiny. And then it's got this more average size claw, but I don't want to try to untie that. So I have this other accessory piece. I don't exactly 100% know what it's used for, but it's almost like the uh, standard Jurassic Park Series 2 accessory tag that comes with the, most of the dinosaurs from this Series 2 line. It's just painted brown instead of the metallic, metallic silver. But yeah, so that's the two poachers. Uh, the poachers, the evil raiders from the Dress Park Series 2 line. I always enjoyed these two figures. Perhaps it was the Lost World fan inside of me, but I always thought the idea of hunters coming on one of the Dress Park islands and hunting down the dinosaurs was an awesome 
take on the story or a nice twist to change things up. And being that these two guys weren't hired by Injun, these were just two evil poachers illegally hunting dinosaurs probably in the universe so it was nice that they tried to add some villain human villain figures into the line and these two guys basically hit the ball out of the park i mean these two guys just look like bad guys i mean if you think they're good guys the they always could be i mean always up to you but they were probably going to hunt down the likes of the demon carnotaurus and also perhaps the ripper So they were probably going to hunt down some of the dinosaurs and perhaps sell and or kill them for money, I guess. Perhaps maybe sell the teeth, the jaws, and everything else. I mean, Skinner had the knife, which was like the bottom jaw of an animal, so it's pretty metal. Pretty metal and badass. But if I rate these two, they both get a solid five and the awesome seal of approval. <sighs> the first human figures here to receive the awesome seal. Being that they're both from Series 2, it's going to be obviously known that they're not going to be the easiest to track down and find. And they both should fall in the price range of $25 to upwards of $35. Complete if they have all the parts. If they don't have all the pieces, you can probably find them for even cheaper than $20. But if you want them both complete, be warned that the price tag will probably be slightly higher than an incomplete figure. And if you want mitt in the package, then... These guys will probably sell for close to 60 or even 70 plus dollars, I would say. But yeah, they get a perfect 5 rating. Check them out, Skinner and Snare. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thumbs up the video if you guys like Skinner and Snare, or if you have them, or if you're looking for them. Post in the comments and tell me what you think. Do you feel the same way about these two characters? They're awesome, and have yet to be repainted again. That They were from Series 2, so these guys are just old school badass but until next time guys next weekend I'll be seeing you take care Red Hanya signing out